my name is Sophie and I am the stylist and creator of Perpetude Personal Styling. Today's video is going to be me sharing with you everything that I got my client that booked a wardrobe reformation service. And this is my second what I bought my client video, so if you want to see another one, it's on my YouTube channel and Instagram. And P.S. A wardrobe reformation used to be called a wardrobe overhaul, but I didn't like that name, so I changed it. But it's the same thing. And what it is, is a complete wardrobe makeover. You, you and I set a budget, and I go and shop, shop, shop. I get you as many pieces as possible that fit into the style that you're going for. And in the end, you should be left with a wardrobe that is easy to get dressed in the morning, feels authentic to your personal style, and it's just exciting and fun and satisfying for you. So his budget was $500. So I got all of these clothes, this hat, these belts, and a few rings, a few necklaces, and some socks, all for $500 because I'm good at shopping. <laughs> so to give you some insight on what my client was going for style-wise, was he wanted uh, like a Western cowboyish theme throughout. He just wanted to wear cool stuff. So that's great for me because I love dressing people who are totally open and aren't too restricted and just want to express themselves. But always in a wearable way. Okay, so I think I will just walk you through, just show, show you every piece and uh, maybe style a couple looks for you guys. So I'll start with the neutrals to show you guys. And neutrals are super important for clients who are looking to have a more expressive and creative style because you really do need those basic pieces that are going to ground the entire outfit. And basics don't need to be boring. And this shirt is a perfect example of that. Because of how distressed it is, it adds a layer of uniqueness. So even if he just wore this with some jeans, it would still sort of be a nod to his personality. Then a nice thick boxy white shirt for layering and a tan mock neck. This is from Zara. Long sleeve, just soft, comfy shirt that he can wear with any kind of like statement pant. And I also got him a pile of undershirts because he doesn't like to just wear one shirt, but those are just basics like, you know, a few white shirts with a couple different collar lengths and a few black t-shirts with a couple different collar lengths just for wearing underneath shirts to make him more comfortable. Now for the statement pieces. This vest might be my favorite thing that I bought him. I think it is so cool. I got it at a vintage shop and it's suede and embroidered. And I will style this at the end of the video in a really wearable cute look that I'm definitely going to put him in. I'm going to film with him tomorrow when I drop all this off. So hopefully I'll get some footage tomorrow as well that I can share and maybe a picture of him in the outfit. And we have this guy. I personally wouldn't consider this a statement piece, I guess, but for my client or for people who aren't as expressive, I think that they would say it's a statement. It's a nice, like, has nice muted warm tones, like patch colors. Really soft. This can go with, oh, like, jeans, any shirt, any of these colors white, black, it's super versatile. And I think he'll really like it because these are his favorite colors. Then we have these two button downs. He wanted me to shop primarily for like summer and going out, going to grab a beer with friends, going to the movies, going on a date with his wife. 
So I got him some like summery button downs as well. This one's from Forever 21. And I really like this. These are embroidered. This pattern is embroidered. It's got this like orangey gold speck in the middle. And he told me orange is his favorite color. So you'll see some orange throughout this as well. And this guy, <laughs> this is just like a perfect vacation dad, you know, button down, carefree. It's, it's oversized, so he'd probably wear it open with a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt, some jeans or some shorts, whatever. Just very like loose fitting and comfy for the summer. Now these guys are my two cowboy picks along with the vest. So this is like, of course, classic very western with the trim with the buttons and the, the exaggerated collar and really essentially it's just a brown button down with a little pizzazz so this would be really easy to style any dress pant any jeans any shorts he'll be able to wear this a lot and then this guy <laughs> this fun guy um, he has some really cute pockets uh, with this little trim and these same button details. The collar, the same buttons down. And this would be cute with like some black distress cut off shorts and some Converse or, you know, I, I feel like tucked in would be cute. But he can definitely play with this. And as you can see, I'm primarily using like a, a warm color scheme because that's what he prefers and sticking to one like scheme or one like undertone warm or cool will make all of these more easily styled together then I also got him two vintage sweaters just to pull over on a cool summer night or you know for fall winter whatever I'm you know the, I want this wardrobe to be able to transform with him through all seasons for you know many years so I got this really nice sort of maroony burgundy um, knit sweater it's a really nice material I can tell it's a really high quality make and this sweater worn over any of the button downs that I got him or like most of the shirts that I got him this will be a really cute accent with their like collar popping out a bit and then the other sweater is this vintage guy I found. It's got some grays, cream, some navy. I just thought this was cute and fit the vibe. <laughs> the last top that I got for him is this Cowboy Bebop shirt because you know, he said that he wanted to have like Western themes. He he did mention like cowboy in outer space, which is this. And he mentioned that he is sort of an icon to him, especially like aesthetically and with his confidence and the way he dresses and the show in general. So I got him this as sort of a little nod to, I'm listening to you, I hear you, I'm hearing what you like. And I want to buy you things that you're truly going to wear and truly enjoy. And orange, his favorite color. Okay, let's look at the few pants or bottoms that I got him. And then I'll show you the accessories, which are super cool. So these are the two pants that I got him. I got him some really cute dad jeans. And this wash is gonna be perfect. It's gonna go with light tops, it's gonna go with dark tops, it's gonna go with basically any color. Like this wash of jean is very versatile. And he personally prefers like the dad fit of dad jeans rather than rather than a skinny jean or a modern jean. He's a very eclectic vintagey guy if you haven't picked up on that. <laughs> And then these, oh, I love these pants so much. They are so cool and so beautiful to me. But they, I got these at a vintage shop. 
They have the maroon, the navy, the cream. Really cute. He can dress this up for a date. He can dress this down for just a little statement bottom with a cute t-shirt. I think these will be a really good tool for him to feel like he is expressing his individuality through his clothes. Then for the rest of the bottoms, I got him three pairs of shorts. And he prefers like a shorter short. He likes showing off his legs, which is awesome. And then it's definitely coming back more into the mainstream. So that's perfect for him. And PS, navy and black are great together. Don't listen to what anybody says if they say, this color and that color don't go together. That's not true. Any color can look great with any other color. It's not about the color, it's about the undertones. So a cool color will look great with any color that's in a cool tone. And same with warm tones. So I also got him these. These are corduroy olive shorts. He loves corduroy, so I definitely wanted to get him a little bit more corduroy. And this color is so versatile. He can wear these with his Cowboy Bebop shirt. That would look awesome. He can wear these with this button down, with this button down. Lots of his shirts are gonna look great with these. And then lastly, I picked him up these pretty short, they look like Boy Scout shorts. I just thought they were so cool. They were super cheap. So I thought I'd get him like a khaki short that can go with everything and he said that he likes short shorts and showing off his legs so I thought I'd see how short he's willing to go. <laughs> My specialty is getting people more confident and more comfortable in their own skin and what they're wearing so I always like to try to push my clients just a bit to feel more comfortable and confident and be willing to wear things that maybe they thought they'd never wear. Okay, let's dive into accessories. So he did ask me for some fun socks to accessorize with. And I got these. Urban Outfitters is a great place for fun socks for men. So these green smileys and these checkered, checkered socks, I think go with everything. Like checkered pattern is pretty versatile actually. And these green will complement a lot of the tops I got him. So these are the necklaces I got him. I got him a gold rose, which I think is super cool. And this will be a great layering piece. And flowers are for everybody. And then this really beautiful gold chain. And then this gold chain as well. And the last sort of necklace that I got him was this bolo tie. <laughs> he had mentioned wanting a bolo tie as, you know, another Western nod. And I think bolo ties are super cool when worn in with a minimalistic outfit. I think it's this really edgy, unique, creative pop of personality. I got this on Etsy and I got pretty much all of his jewelry on Etsy, in case you're wondering. And then I got him two rings to stack and wear all the time. So I got him this, this pretty common style. So a big gold chunky ring. And then I got him this more delicate gold ring that has these like, this etching, these wisps. I believe there's like a floral element. If you haven't noticed, I've done sort of a floral motif throughout the whole haul. And making sure everything I bought for him already has those motifs or those things in common with each other, that's just gonna make it one step easier for him to look really put together, thoughtful, and polished. Then I got him these two belts. They're just from the thrift store. And he said if I find a cool hat to grab it for him, but it's not a priority. So I stumbled upon this hat and I thought it was pretty cool. It's embroidered and then it has a paisley print on that. This would be a good like modern boyish accent that would easily go with a lot of his clothes. 
And for Noah, I did not buy any shoes. And that is because he said, I don't need any shoes. And each client is going to have different holes in their closet of things they need, things that they definitely have enough of. So every haul is gonna be completely different for each client. How I determined what to buy Noah started with a style consultation with him to see what aesthetic he was looking for, how we could authentically represent him in his clothes, what his priorities were, you know, comfort, expression, and then once we defined the direction, we did a wardrobe purge and we got rid of everything that he was just not interested in wearing it anymore or that just didn't fit. So for him, he's making space for the new stuff and making it easier so that there's not all this stuff in the way. He can have a more clear direction when getting dressed in the morning. Fewer, better options. And what I get out of the wardrobe purge as a stylist is I get to see what he has in his closet right now as to make sure that I am buying pieces that are going to seamlessly incorporate with what he already has. I don't want there to be this obvious difference of, oh, these are the clothes that Sophie bought me and these are my clothes and uh, how do I put them together? That's not what I want at all. My goal is ease of dress, authentic styling, comfort, confidence, you know the drill. So I make sure to note what he has and buy things that I know are gonna complement that. That being said, I don't have any of his clothes with me today. I just have the clothes that I bought him. So the outfits that I'm gonna put together are just with the clothes that I purchased. So this is my first outfit. Look, I think it's really wearable. He wants to make an impression. He wants to stand out and show his individuality. And I think that this does just that. I think this look is a really wearable way to communicate that. And he can wear this buttoned or unbuttoned. This is the second outfit I would style for him. Very clean, but expressive. Sort of understated, but bold. And these are just, you know, comfy statement pants and a very soft, comfy, long sleeve. And then he could put a pop of one of his statement socks and roll up the pant a little bit. He could layer some chains here, like the rose one, that would be really pretty. And then this is the last look I'll show you guys. I think these shorts are the perfect complement for this shirt to sort of dampen it down because it is such a statement. But because these are colorful, it marries the two more. It's not like crazy top with, with too basic or too boring of a bottom. And I think if he wears a shirt more relaxed, like unbuttoned for a few buttons, maybe a white t-shirt underneath with some casual shoes, I think it would give it a really relaxed feel and it would be really cool and effortless. The next thing I have to do to complete this service with Noah is bring him all this stuff and have him try it all on and style it and integrate it with his current wardrobe. I'll definitely take pictures and video from that and that'll be a separate post that you should totally check out. If you guys are interested in any of my services, I have a website that you can see that on on my Instagram, I have a highlight bubble that has all that info. And on my Facebook, I have a services tab. Thanks again so, so much for watching and supporting me, you guys. It really means the world. Thank you.